Hello guys and welcome to this team fighting guide. So in this guide we're gonna be going through multiple examples of my team fights and we're gonna be analyzing them. So what are we waiting for? Let's get to it. So first example as you can see is we're doing the dragon right. Enemy, bot, enemy team are all position bot side right. Uh, we lost mid in here. We pushed out mid before doing the dragon so we had enough time to actually do the dragon right. Keep moments, pushed out mid, we don't worry about the mid, tour, mid wave, right? We have bot in here, so there's minions pushing bot, bot, right? We're all bot side as well, dragon is really low HP, so the dragon is ours. We're all grouped together, and enemies are not that grouped together. As you can see, we can only see two enemies here. There's probably three more in the fog, we assume, because the objective is alive, so probably all of them are here. So how do we fight this fight? So first of all, the graves goes for a dragon steel and of course because the graves failed to get a dragon steel right now we're getting flushed on by the garen so garen tries to kill us garen is still on us so we are for extra hp so we don't get bursted down by the garen at the same time we can see two other people are assassinating from the behind but we already got a kill on the grave so this fight gonna be a 5v4 and right now my goal is to just Finish out the Garen, and of course after that the Bard ult comes in, but I still have Flash Cleanse, so I'm not afraid about Bard that much. So I just Insta Cleanse, and then we run down the rest and we the team fight. As you can see right here, Talon got picked out by the Darius, and right now Darius is trying to escape, while enemies are trying to collapse on us. So our first priority is to focus the Darius, right? We need to make sure that we pick out the Darius before he can join, um, before his team can join to equal out the field. After we kill the Darius, now our second goal gonna be Ash because Ash is isolated and Lulu and Rengar is currently around the mid lane while the Ash is all alone here. There might be someone behind her but I do not care. So right now I go on the Ash, I kill the Ash and of course after I kill the Ash oh I look for a pick on the Rengar. So right now we go for a Rengar, we get a triple kill and right now we don't chase the Malphite and the Lulu because there's no point chasing the Malphite and the Lulu. Instead we are going for a Baron, right? Jungler is dead, ADC is dead, top is dead, we are 5 alive, there's no way they can stop us, we get the Baron, we siege the mid lane, we win the game. So these team fights are really really important, really really important and you need to play them out correctly. So the information that we have currently, there's a Malphite, there is an Ash, Lulu, uh, we see everyone here, we see everyone mid lane, we see a Rengar in the bush from the Sweeper, from uh, Sinjawa, right? So right now our goal is not group up too much because Malphite can R us, at the same time we don't want to spread against the Rengar, so we need to kite back and make sure that we avoid the Malphite R, right? Our main threat in this fight is currently Malphite R, so we are not afraid of Rengar because we can always just W the Rengar ult, we are not in that bad of a spot because of that. So our goal is to just make sure not to get caught by a Malphite, right? So let's see, I kite back, I kite back, the Malphite R's, it's fine, the Rengar goes on the Sinjawa, so right now they did not collapse us at the single moment, right? So right now there is two different skirmishes going on here and there's one here right so our poppy is holding three people currently poppy is doing an amazing job but the malphite engaged alone right so because the malphite engaged alone our main targets are the malphite and the rengar right so right now the rengar flashes out and the malphite is alone so because the malphite is alone we go for the malphite and the moment that the malphite steps away closer to their team what do we do we flash R on the Rengar and on the Darius to heal the Sinjawa at the same time burst down the Rengar and get us a better position against Darius. So we get a huge positional advantage on the Darius, we kill the Darius and after we kill the Darius our next goal is to go on whichever target is closer and easier to kill. So that was Malphite, we kill the Malphite and right now that's a successful team fight. This is a team fight number 4 and in this key moment you can see that we are all grouped and right now we can see you on the mid. 
So we instantly can assume this is a 5v4, right? Because we see the Kai's is behind as well. Of course, she can always join in the fight, so it's a 5v4. Uh, the key ability has been used, right? The Fizz tried to assassinate us from the Fog of War. So right now, we just back out. We dodge the R, we walk around it, and then we go follow our teammates. We land an amazing 4-man R. And we clean up the fight, getting a triple kill, and of course, they're gonna be chasing down Bayoni and killing Bayoni. And everything started here from a man advantage. Even though Bayoni had TP and he TP'd in to join this fight, it was already too late because we already cleaned them all up. So, one more time, how did this fight start? A key cooldown has been used for the Fizz. That key cooldown is his ultimate, and because he did not have his ultimate, Right now, all we had to do is just follow our teammates' plays. At the same time, why did I go in here? Because we already used their key abilities on the ally team and we already killed our Belveth. And right now, because, I mean, we already used their cooldowns, I can just go in here for free and clean up the fight. Alright, so in this scenario, you can see that our Malphite is already dying, our Tariq is already dying. This fight already has begun. This is really important because enemies will lack their cooldowns, right? So right now, we, the fight already begun, right? The target is low HP, the Malphite is low HP, we're kind of grouped up, so we can look for an R angle whenever we're grouped up. Our positioning is pretty good as well, right? We're cutting out the enemies from this side while our team is coming from the top. So right now, I'm trying to look for a Jarvan, the Malphite ults, we get double kill. And after we get a double kill, I still look for more, Orn is really tanky. Tries to sustain himself. Here comes the Silas. Uh, the Silas uses a Malphite ult, but does not matter. And we kill entire enemy team until only Seraphine is alive. So one more time, we go for the closest targets. And we go for the Orn. The, the, the Silas takes a Malphite ult, ults us. Uh, some of us die, but doesn't matter too much. We still have three people alive. And now we can do Baron. And after we get Baron, we win the game. As you can see, and there's a Cinch coming in from a bot side, there's a Skirmish top side, there's a Cinch here. So what do we do as Nila? Again, we prioritize the closest targets that we can have access to, plus the main targets that we need to kill. So the main targets should be, uh, should be AD carry, a mid laner, right? So we need to focus the targets closest to us. So right now, we can see that Aphelius is overextended, I flash on Aphelius, I burst him down, and after I burst down the Aphelius, I try to look for more, but it's kind of hard to find an angle, so right now I just wait for my team to set up an angle, and we get a double kill. Even though this skirmish was not as bloody as other ones, but it's really important because in most skirmishes, if you kill two people or one people, most of the times in high elo, we're gonna be just giving up objective because we already have the man disadvantage, and you get the dragon. For free. And right now there's a skirmish, a Galio and a Kali is trying to look for Leona. Uh, they're doing dragon, so you can see there's like a pick on Leona, there's like Ivern here, and three of them are on the dragon. So right now I'm coming in from a really good angle, so right now I can be really safe, I can wait for my team to engage, I can wait for them to use their main abilities, and after they use their main abilities, I can actually follow them up, and I can clean up the fight. So let's see, I'm gonna be playing it out. So right now, our main pick is Leona. So I play really safe. I look for Leona, I look for Leona. I'm waiting for the Renekton to use his main cooldown, which is his E. He used his E, Katarina went in as well. And right now, the Galio is r -ing. So because we're all grouped right now, and the Galio is r -ing, this is a perfect moment for me to go in and try to punish the enemies, right? Because I'm gonna have a follow-up afterwards. With a Galio R. So I flash R. Uh, the Katarina is out, but it's okay. I still get two people. We kill Renekton, we kill Leona, and then the Ash is hunting us down. We kill the Ash and we get a triple kill. And of course, this triple kill gonna lead us into Baron, and the Baron probably gonna lead us into a victory. Even though I was not fed here, I was 4 7, I was quite behind. I still played really patiently and found my angle. And because I found my angle, we just clean them up and yeah, we can get the Baron and we can win the game off that. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe and feel free to let me know which videos you would like to see in the future. Thanks for watching.
and have a nice rest of your day.